Here are some notes on physiologic anemia of infancy. This is a normal phenomenon that occurs in all infants. They have a drop in hemoglobin levels after birth. In full-term infants, the physiologic anemia occurs around two to three months of age. Your hemoglobin can drop from your birth levels, which is about 14 to 22, 23, to a low point of about 10 grams per deciliter. The physiologic anemia is usually asymptomatic. It resolves spontaneously and it re you reach your adult values of hemoglobin by about two years of age. The causes of physiologic anemia are uh, multifactorial. You have decreased bone marrow erythropoietic activity due to increased tissue oxygenation. You also have reduced EPO production, increased hemolysis, and hemodilution from rapid volume expansion. In anemia of prematurity, it's a little more severe. So premature babies have a more severe presentation of anemia. They have earlier onset than term infants. They have a lower uh, base hemoglobin, a lower nadir of seven to eight, less than 10. They may be symptomatic with tachycardia, tachypnea, poor feeding, apnea, and possible heart failure in severe cases. There are some additional risk factors that preterm infants uh, might have. They have a lower oxygen sensing um, threshold in the kidneys. This would trigger EPO production, but that threshold is lower in preterm infants. They also have a shortened red blood cell lifespan, sh uh, lower plasma EPO levels, and more rapid body growth, which might lead to worse hemodilution of existing red blood cells. They also might be subject to iatrogenic blood loss if, for instance, they're in the NICU, and they can have nutritional de deficiencies and be at risk for infection or sepsis. So in summary, the management in stable infants typically involves monitoring without acute intervention, although preterm infants might require closer attention due to their higher risk of complications.